a possible year. But the important thing in all such of a figure in which the length of diagonals are equal, if you join the midpoint, if you join the midpoint of all the sides, you will always get a rectangle. So, by joining the midpoints, on joining the midpoints, we will always get rectangle. Not rectangle, but basically rhombus. So, in case of even isosceles trapezium, if you join the midpoint, the figure which you will get that is nothing but rhombus. So, on joining the midpoint of a square as well as rectangle as well as trapezium, isosceles trapezium, we will always get rhombus. Now, let us move to the three dimensional figure. Now, in three dimensional figure, we will start with the very basic figure that is the cuboid first thing. If I draw a cuboid, let us say this is L, B and H. So, volume is always equal to L, B, H, length into breadth into height. This is for the cuboid. Then lateral surface area, the lateral surface area of this, lateral surface area means the area of the vertical faces. So, here the area of the four faces are nothing, but I can say area of this particular face is L into H, we will get twice of LH plus twice of BH. Why? Because this is B into H, area of this face and there are two such faces here, one on this side, one on this side and similarly the area of this particular wall. This is L into H and there are two. The last one is total surface area, which is twice of LH plus twice of BH plus twice of LB. In this case, I need to include the area of the floor as well as the ceiling. And the last thing, the body diagonal. The length of the body diagonal in the three dimensional figure is this one. And this particular length, if I join one corner of the room, bottom corner to the top corner of the room, that is known as the length of the body diagonal. And this length of body diagonal is always equal to the A root naught. In this case, it is always equal to under root of L square plus B square plus H square. So, these are the cases for the cuboid. Let us move to the next figure that is cube. Now, in case of cube, all the sides are equal. So, we can say here that the volume is A cube, lateral surface area is 4A square, the area of the 4 walls and the total surface area in this case is equal to 6A square and the last thing, the length of body diagonal. So, the body diagonal in this case is A root 3. In this case, the length of the body diagonal is A root 3. Now, similarly, if I move to another thing, next figure is prism. Now, in case of prism, Let us say if I take a rectangular prism, now always remember that the volume 
of any three dimensional figure is nothing but base area into height. Now, in this case my base is rectangle, so this is a rectangle and this is my height, let us say the height is h. Here the base can be in fact triangle or maybe it can be pentagonal or hexagonal or it can be heptagonal or decagon. So, accordingly you need to take the base area into height here. Now, in print both the bases are always same. Now, if I go for lateral surface area, so again if you look at here how many faces are there? Four faces because this is a rectangular. So, the area of this face if I say let us say this is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. These are the lengths. So, the area of this one is H. Similarly, the area of this face, this one, if this is D and this is H, this is again in the rectangle, so DH. Similarly, this rectangle CH and this rectangle is BH. So, the total lattice surface area is H plus BH plus CH plus DH, which is nothing but we can say that A plus B plus C plus D into H. And A plus B plus C plus D is what? A plus B plus C plus D is nothing but it is the pairing meter. So, always remember that the lateral surface area for any prism is basically the base perimeter into height. The perimeter of the base into height, this distance. And the last thing, total surface area. Total surface area is simply lateral surface area. We had already find out this total area and now how many bases are there? Two bases, one at the bottom, other at the top. So, lateral surface area plus twice of base area. And now one more thing, again this base, this base can be anything, it can be rectangular, it can be triangle or it can be hexagon or decagon or anything. So, this is the prism. Now, in, in the prism, instead of taking a rectangular base, if you take a circular base, now, when the base is circular, it will become your cylinder. So, for example here, if I draw a circular base, let us say this is a circular base and this is again a circular base. So, this particular figure is nothing but cylinder. So, cylinder is nothing but it is a prism with a circular base here. So, now we can just look at here, cylinder. So, volume, we know that the base area into height. What is the base area here? The base area, since it is a cylinder, so the area is pi r square and the height is h. Let us say this is the height and the radius is r. So, we can say that the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. Lateral surface area, which is base perimeter into height. The perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r. So, lateral surface area is 2 pi r into h. And the last thing, the total surface area, which is lateral surface area 2 pi r h plus twice of base area. This base area is pi r square, so pi r square plus pi r square, you will get 2 pi r square. Okay. After present, the next thing is the pyramid. Let us say it is a square pyramid, here the base is square. In the pyramid also you can take the base either as a square or triangle or uh, maybe you can take it as a pentagon, hexagon, decagon, heptagon, nonagon, octagon, anything. So, the first thing volume. Volume in this case is 1 by 3 into base area into height. The second thing is the lateral surface area. The lateral surface area is nothing but half of base perimeter into height into slant height and the slant height is my this side. For example, if this is a 
pyramid. So, this is my slant height. We do not have to take this height, but we have to take the slanted height. And the last thing, total surface area. The total surface area of a pyramid is always lattice surface area plus base area. 